Hi, everybody. We are going to get some tools, and it's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. I'm not worried one bit that something's going to go horribly wrong. I'm just going to put these in my pocket and haul them back. I'm sure as hell I'm going to be able to carry all this back to the shop. Elizabeth, use your magic powers to solve this problem. What is that? It's like a tear to a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. If the tools aren't in there, then, then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear, guys. I don't think there's any okay, I don't think this is a very good idea. some bullets like this this doesn't seem like a good plan what if we just go to another place where there are they didn't seize the tools because they killed him instead I mean there are lots of possible universes where where this isn't a thing. Oh god. All right, this is a terrible idea. I just wanted I just want it noted that from the outset that I think this is a bad plan. First gun. Yes, just like Les Miserables. Thanks. Yeah. This gun looks fun. It's got a good sight, too. I think it might be my new machine gun. Assuming I can get upgrades for you. I mean, this is a totally different universe. So it sounds like the Vox are assaulting the police HQ. You ever see a forest at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. Going to Emporium, and then we're gonna see what it takes to rouse this from their slumber. Right. These guys are all weird because. Because I killed them all. Oh! I get it. I mean, not only does it does it add a disturbing piece to the alternate reality bit, but oh, I just ate a rotten banana. That was not good. I just eat everything I find. But no, not only does it add a disturbing bit of the alter, alternate reality stuff, but it also I'm looking for the evidence key. Because I feel like that chest is going to be relevant. Um, no. But it also... It explains a way... Why I... I never teleport into a reality... And then... Okay. Um, but it explains why I, why I never teleport into reality... And then have to do the same fight I did... Only backwards. Um, because I killed them all... And they're dead, so... Daisy's moved these people. Yeah. I don't want to know. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Uh, that's a bomb. I don't think I want to go out here. Oh dear. Oh 
So I'm just gonna let you guys uh, have that one. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. I am, uh... oh, you're not shooting at me. Okay. Uh, don't mind me, just heading around. I don't need an RPG. I do need to know where the hell I'm going. Hi, guys. You guys still aren't shooting at me, are you? Oh, you work for me now. gun is okay. I can deal with it. So apparently we're still anti-Semites. Okay, now. <laughs> the song of their revolution is fortunate one son. Designed to travel through universes. You're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. Oh man, this is not gonna end super well. Hey guys. That seems legit. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that maybe I am a hero, uh, but Daisy killed me. Um, yeah, there's something really Marxist, uh, like, like like Red October about that. Not Hunt for Red October, but like Grozny uh, the the revolution, the Russian revolution about that. Ready? Cool. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> so now we've been to three realities. Each one is screwed up as the last. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell it. Also, Fitzroy is a lady. But yeah, I mean, I feel like the, 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 the message here is that we are all bastards. However, um, we are bastards being bastards in the face of actual legitimate oppression. And that is something that sort of bothers me. Sniper? Are you pointing? Because I don't see anybody. Oh, you are pointing. Get him! Did 
so you're my guys. Uh, kill your friends. You too. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Lessons learned. I'm gonna eat this pineapple while you take care of my problems. Surprisingly, we go this way. Hey, guys. Uh, I don't really want any of those, because I don't use any of those. I don't really want any of that, because I don't ever run out of ammo. Because I shoot people in the noggin. Elizabeth? Oh. Can I pull the lever? I just like pulling levers. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm sure about that. Where the box had weapons. Or I created one. I that's probably not a question that we want to ask. Or that. Hey guys. How you doing? Ah, oh, everybody seems to be doing pretty okay. I guess. Ooh, money. I like money. Hey, guys. Mind me. Just doing stuff. Just salt. And the shop door is open. That's intriguing. And there's a bunch of dead people outside it. That's that's Chen Lin, and his and his wife Sarah. Yep. Looks like I got a friend in town. Responsibility, none of it. You just opened a door to this. Oh, I can't hear that. All right, I'll I'll listen to this again. Did I just bring us to a world where Chen Lin was alive? Stop worrying about that. I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. Oh, I don't know. Wish. No, what? Wish for something cooler. Wish us, wish, wish for a pony. Looks like I got a friend in town after all. Slate. He's fell in with these Vox Populi, and for irregulars, I will say they are loaded for bear. The problem is, I gotta help them with their damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl. Uh, 
I'm just picking up your stuff. Yeah, go ahead and thermite the door. I'm not gonna bother you. Jeez. Hey, guys. to shoot each other, it's cool. You guys take care of that for me, will ya? I'll take care of these guys. That seems fair. Oops. Hi guys. You know, I can get another machine gun. That seems legit. Are you guys gonna open this door for me now? Thank you. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! That someone is me, I bet. How do I get up to the sky hook? Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Uh, let's go, I guess. Switch over to the devil thing. Yep. So I feel like that's useful. Oh, do -do 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 -do. That glass is bulletproof. Take care of that? Actually, why don't you take care of that? Oh my god, she's teleporting. That's actually not even the weirdest thing she's done lately. You work for me.
stabilize the engine and bring this thing down. Okay. Do do do. Take the money. Take the salts. Take your oranges. Those oranges are delicious. Take your soda. I've come for your snack food! This looks important. Yep, that seems like it'll get the job done. Presumably... Yep, there we go. Oh. Wow, that was dangerous. Did I just wander into a closet? Uh, hey guys. It was kind of amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I feel pretty good about it. I like it. It's, it's not just... Uh, Black people and Asian people and it's like it's Irish people. Like it's a, the, the citizens of Colombia are racist against pretty much every group of people you could possibly be racist against. Gotcha. Uh, no, you work for me now. So yeah, you guys, uh, you guys deal with that. Um, so just so you Vox guys know, that thing's gonna become a problem again in like, oh, uh, you know, a little bit. Oh, jeez! They're good for you. We need to take that elevator up. Oh, maybe I'll get to shoot Fink in the face. Elizabeth, I have a very serious question for you. After I shoot Fink in the face, also do up your time. After I shoot Fink in the face, can we go to a universe where he is still alive so I can shoot him in the face again? I would very much like that, but instead I'm just gonna bro fist this elevator. Oh, oh there she is. She, she looks a little upset. I don't blame her. She's got some seriously existential stuff on her mind. So, those are vigors. Well, because Fink makes all the vigors. Uh, and the vending machines. And the power systems. Like, they're basically burning down their way of life. They're just right for each other, aren't they? Who? That's Roy and Comstock. And he makes the turrets. Oh, jeez. Oh, and those are the the, the remaster really things. You couldn't have known this would happen. Not the box of phones either. In this catastrophe, if, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative. But... Oh my God, Elizabeth, I understand that you have the moral high ground in this, um, but I certainly don't. I don't. I don't know that I can pretend to. Would you kindly pick up that radio over there? Hello. No. no? I think it's complicated. Listen, I got you your gun. She's gonna be like, what are you talking about? But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You you just complicate the narrative. She totally killed me. 
I might have to shoot her too. I'm more okay with this than I probably should be. Hi guys. Hey, we were gonna be bros. Bro. Now I'm all mad. Oh, this guy's got a banana. I was going to be friends. I was going to invite you guys to my birthday party. But no. You gotta be jerks. Fine. What's that? Okay, I'm gonna search this corpse, then I'm gonna drink this, then I'm gonna see what it does, then we're gonna finish up for the week. Because it's late, and I gotta go to bed. Alrighty. Let's just drink it! This looks important. It's got squid bottle. Down the hatch. Actually seems kind of cool. Oh, okay. So I don't know what that does. Let's listen to this and then we'll wrap up. These holes have shown me yet another wonder, though I've yet to see the application for it. They illuminate a merger of machine and man that is somehow the lesser yet the greater of both parties. The process seems to be irreversible. <laughs> Perhaps, oh. though, Comstock Never will mind. have some need of this kind of thing to keep I'm watch sorry. in that tower he is building. Just take all your money. All right. Yeah. I can always take more money. I have like a billion dollars now. Two and a half thousand. Sixteen lockpicks. That ought to do me for a while. All right. So we're going to go through those doors next week. It's late. I'm going to bed. I will see you guys. Yeah, I just shot an Iron Man on the back. What are you going to do about it? I think we've established that I, uh, have... No, actually, you guys, you guys are racist, so I think I still pretty much have the moral high ground in this one. <laughs>